Managing thalassemia requires some planning and foresight. For me, I typically schedule my transfusions in advance so I can make sure that I have a bed in the hospital when I need it. And after I get my schedule for my transfusions, I'm able to then schedule the rest of my life around it. Every three weeks, I get a blood transfusion. And in the days leading up to each transfusion, I go into the hospital so that they can draw a little bit of blood. And it's important to do the steps so that they can find the right match for me in terms of the blood product I'll be getting. And then typically on a weekend, I go in in the morning and then I get a shot. For the next three to four hours, I receive a blood transfusion, usually three to four uh, bags of blood. And during this time, I'm actually able to be productive or catch up on sleep, things like that. Over long periods of time, so many transfusions can lead to a condition called iron overload. Every bag of blood that is transfused comes with a large dose of iron. And unfortunately, over a long period of time, the iron can deposit and build up in important organs like the liver and the heart. So when people receive regular transfusions, the iron that builds up in these organs can lead to damage that causes heart failure or liver failure. Anybody who is regularly transfused needs to be chelated so that they don't suffer from the complications of iron overload. It's so important to be compliant with your iron chelation medications and to take it every day as prescribed. I would advise that all patients with thalassemia who are on an iron chelation therapy try to create a habit. Try to reward yourself every time you take uh, your medications. For me, I take it close to bedtime, right before bedtime, every single night, right before I brush my teeth. And by associating taking this medication with brushing my teeth, I can make sure never to forget it. And when I was in the process of building this habit, I also rewarded myself with a little snack right after uh, taking my medication as well. And that helped me to get into this habit of taking my medications every single night. I found it very helpful to let people know what's going on and let people know where I'll be. I have had conversations with my teachers, my professors, and my friends far in advance just to let them know that transfusions are a regular part of my life and is something that I may need to skip class for or skip social events for. And I think that that's been very helpful for me. Over time, I've come to consider the people in the hospital, the staff and the nurses, like my second family. I see them so often that I've become quite close with them.